My name is Monica, and you're watching Dog Eared Musings. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of a book haul. Now, usually I'm in my apartment living a pretty quiet life in the Midwest, but this year I actually went on a pretty big trip to visit family in New York. And when I wasn't hanging out with family, eating pizza, and just walking around the city, we managed to stop at a couple of bookstores. So I wanted to kind of go through my haul with you. But before I go through my haul, I first wanted to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel. I think we've surpassed 100 subscribers at this point. I'm sure after I say that, we're gonna lose like all of them. But um, I wanted to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel and continuing to show support. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and go through my haul, cause yay for capitalism. The first bookstore that we went to was The Strand. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with The Strand, but The Strand is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, literally in size, independent bookstore. This store boasts 23 miles of just pure, like, square footage of books. It's definitely overwhelming to go inside. It feels like if Costco and Disney World made a bookstore baby, and then just trying to find books throughout this store is just overwhelming. So I went in, and kind of felt very intimidating, intimidated. And so I ended up just buying a t-shirt. But it's a really cute t-shirt. It's like the 70s style baseball tee. And I thought that it was just touristy enough. And I'm really excited to wear it when I go to work. So the next bookstore that we went to, we went to kind of accidentally. We were already stopping at this really cool chai place in Brooklyn called Chaya Chai, which is this South Asian tea spot that specifies in chai. And if you're in the area, I highly recommend that you go there. Right now, they're actually making chai flavored ice cream with oat milk, and it's supposed to be really good. But anyway, we went and got the tea, and then, what would you know, right next to this chai place is this bookstore that is also a cafe and a bar, and they do all sorts of cool artist events and author talks. So I went in, and I found this book called Cheat Day. It was actually written by Liv Stratman, who works at the bookstore. It's about a woman who lives in Brooklyn, so it just felt like a very kind of local pick. And so I was really excited to find this. It's about kind of the satirization of the wellness movement and kind of health fads. This young woman's grappling with her own self-identity and stagnations within her life, her career, and her relationship. The final bookstore that we went to is a bookstore that's been getting a lot of hype. It's a new or relatively new bookstore located in uh, Chinatown. It's called You and Me, and it is kind of this groundbreaking bookstore. I believe it's the first female-owned Asian bookstore, and so I had to go and check it out. And this store is amazing. It's very small and the material in there is very highly curated. The people who work behind the counter are insanely nice and will offer you so many recommendations if you don't know where to, what to start or what books to pick out. And they also have a bunch of really fun treats behind the counter if you're coming in and feeling a little hungry. I managed to snag three books while I was there. The first book was another kind of local pick is the book Spellbound and it's written by Bishak Som. Som is a graphic designer who lives in New York in Brooklyn and so I thought that this was another really fun kind of local choice and I also was really interested in the subject matter. This is an autobiography which started off as Som's kind of own personal illustrated journal 
which she then chose to make into this graphic memoir and was able to publish. This is a really, from what I've heard, this is a really inspiring and kind of in-depth personal kind of recollection of Soames grappling with her own gender identity as a trans woman and kind of her life in New York and her artistic journey becoming a graphic novelist professionally. Another book that I had to pick up based on a couple of people's recommendations is Uma's Table. From what I've heard about this book is Yun Sikong wrote this. It's a tale about a family and how food kind of brings up memories and if you know me and if you've watched any of the videos on my channel then you know how much food and mem memories and identity are huge themes that I love reading about. So when I saw this at the bookstore, I knew that I had to pick it up and I'm really excited to get through it. And I hope that there are some in recipes in here because I'm, I would love to uh, test them out in future videos. All right, the last book that I am hauling is Born Confused by Tanuja Desai Hider. I was so excited when I found this on the bookshelf because when this book came out, I think it was like early aughts, I was preteen trying to find books that felt like they represented my cultural heritage and this was one of the first books that was written about a young Indian teen and was written by a Indian person and I remember reading this book and feeling so excited and so seen with half of my identity and um it it was just a very groundbreaking book at the time and I've reread this book so many times and lost my copy I think in the many moves that my family had as I was growing up and so when I found this book on the bookshelf I felt myself kind of going back in time and it felt like I was picking up my original copy that I had and so I knew that I had to get this book especially going into this groundbreaking bookstore it felt like kind of the perfect buy and so I'm really excited to reread this book at some point and see how I've changed and how maybe my responses to the book have changed that's kind of why I'm excited to read this book and the last thing that I'm going to haul for you guys is this little sticker sheet and hopefully the camera focuses on it because it's pretty reflective. If you're ever in Chinatown and go into this bookstore, I highly recommend that you pick a sticker sheet up for yourself. It's beautifully designed and it has all sorts of info on really fun places that you can go to pick up food and some really cool local businesses that you can support as well as you and me uh, that are highlighted on the sticker sheet. So that's been my book haul. I am really excited that I got to go on that trip and I'm also really excited to get to be at home and read all these books and get to enjoy my trip even further through these reads. This has been Dog Your Musings. I'm Monica. Thanks again for all the support. Happy readings. Mm -hmm.